and we're back with the new automation update and time to start a new colony. Uh, this time around, due to the voting, we're going with Badlands. This is the map I had the most difficulty with last time I played it. It was... Ugh, I just really hated this map. It is completely the opposite of my gameplay style. So we're going to set everything, though, to hardest. So we got Ravenous Hunger, Frankly Depressing Stress, Outbreak break Prone Disease, and Draconian Morale. Uh, full disclaimer, I've never actually played on these settings before. I've always just played default, so we'll just have to see how that works out. And let's roll a few of these and get something funny. I would like uh, something with volcanoes in it, or uh, magma geoactive thing. Ah, magma channels. I want magma channels in here. Well, I want magma channels, but I also want a second one. I want magma channels and, say, volcanoes. That's usually, well, annoyingly fun. Uh, we got magma channels, volcanoes, frozen core, and large boulders. Uh, do I want frozen core? Frozen core seems like it would be a little bit easy, so maybe not. Okay, so we got magma channels, volcanoes, but no frozen core. Magma channels, volcanoes, and miscalculated pod location. And let's just double check, make sure those settings all stay the same. Yeah, we got all those settings right there. And let's start up the game. This should be interesting. Last time I played this, I just checked through the old uh, gameplay footage. I ran out of food. I ran out of oxygen. Um, water was the only thing that's actually pretty decent on this map. It's just there's very few seeds. There was very few seeds of any type. And there was very few critters of any type. It's going to be interesting. Let's hope I don't mess it up as much as I did the last one. Now, uh, let's start re-rolling these. We're going to be looking for the usual two diggers and one builder, or two diggers and one researcher. So for our good place colony, we will have Eleanor over here, plus seven digging, quick learner, uh, Jason, plus seven excavation, quick learner, and Chidi, plus seven science, no taste, squeamish. Uh, the quick learner, and the, uh, that just was sort of random, and the no taste also random. I would have liked, actually, if everyone had uh, no taste. That would be... Mm, no, no, I'm not going to keep re-rolling. It's fine. Uh, for their stress reactions, we got Vomiter, Ugly Choirs. Uh, I don't really care what their stress reactions are. Their overjoyed responses are. All I care is that they're negative zero or squeamish gastrophobia and stuff like that. They're things that don't really cause any issues. So let's embark and see what happens. Hey. Okay, so before I forget, let's immediately go into their priorities and set them all. So Eleanor and Jason are about to be our digger builders. Uh, yeah, so those will automatically go up. And Chidi is going to get those downgraded and they're immediately going to have their research cranked up. Just because they'll be handling all the stocking up and things. Now let's have a quick look around and see what this map has in store for us. First things first, I've picked out this location down here. That's where our main ladder system is going to be. Up and down. That should avoid the water pocket that's there. And I don't see any water down here. So we should be good to keep going down straight that direction. Second thing to note here, this is very important. This is all of your oxygen. There's no more, oh, there's a little bit of a few patches up here, but by and large, there's very little oxalite on this map. It's only tiny. You need to get oxygen production up and running as soon as possible and start churning into that algae. So that means we're going to have to start getting uh, electricity up and running soon as well. Uh, we're going to take out all of that immediately, and then we're going to start digging down. All right, that's going to be a bit slow, but we'll speed this up a bit. This is where we're going to go down, and we immediately want to get our hands on some water, set ourselves up some toilets, and at the same time, oh, you doing, guys? Dig that out. Let that, that poor Chidi out of there. Right. Uh, I'm going to put it up to max speed. We want to dig down here, get in some water. That will allow us to put water into our sinks and toilets. We don't want anyone getting food poisoning germs this early on. Because, you know, that would actually be kind of fatal, especially considering how bad the, the germ resistance is of our dupes. Oh, yeah, and there's that oxygen problem we were talking about. There's already too much, so much carbon dioxide, they're going to start getting stressed out. Mm. Yeah, joys of this game. Now we'll have water up and running down here. Uh, over here we're going to have our toilets and our sinks, and over here we're going to have our bedrooms where everyone's going to sleep for the night. Uh, if we can hopefully get that done before the end of this cycle, that would be great, and then first thing in the morning we'll excavate out here and we'll put in our power, oxygen, and science production. And would you look at that? We've got toilets and sinks up and running before the end of the first cycle. We've got bedrooms, well, a cot, and... Is that it? Going to classify as a bedroom? Yeah, just about. So we've got a barracks and a latrine up and running super quickly. Now let's immediately get into power, oxygen, and science. I don't think we're going to get this all done uh, before the end of this cycle, but uh, we should be pretty close. Okay, not quite there. I could have, of course, messed with the schedules to make them more likely to stay around and do it longer, but I think we're doing well so far, and it's everyone's stress level is nice and low still. Just before everyone goes to bed, let's have a quick look at the scheduling system here. What we want to do is we want to get rid of that last bedtime slot and make that work and get rid of the bedtime slot as well. So they've got two downtime and two bedroom. Once they're in bed, they won't get out of bed until their stamina recovers anyway, so we don't care. That should get us to, let us get the maximum amount of productivity out of this early on in the game. 
Mm, shall we? Yep. See, they're still staying in bed even though they ran out of sleep. Very handy little trick, that one. Okay, uh, for construction, I have set the priorities on... Oops. I set the priorities here of six for all our science and oxygen, and then down here and all up here, these extra build commands, they're all just set to level five. So if they'll finish these up first. Now that that's done though, yeah, Chidi is going to become our manual general operator. Let's just check their priorities here. Yeah, we're going to make your operate plus two, just to make sure that they run on that to charge it up. Then the research will be the next thing they specialize in, and then everything else after that. At this point though, there's no one really left to do the picking up and the gathering of things. As in, any muckroot that falls around the map will not get brought back to our centralized ration box. It's an annoyance, but we can live with it. Oh, and down here, yeah, the water broke through. <laughs> That's a little bit of an annoyance, but we'll come down here and we'll diagonally build blocks and we'll force all the water back in there so we can hopefully continue our ladder system without too much inconvenience. Oh, and oxygen production is up and running. Perfect. Which means we should also get research underway. First things first, I... Oh, God, that is horrible. First things first, I have learned from the last map or the video I watched of the last map, we are immediately going to get planter pots and we are going to start farming instantly. There is no hanging around on this one. We're also going to get the mess tables, of course. I want to keep everyone's morale nice and high so we get that stress reduction from having high morale. Oh, another important thing. Yeah, we're just going to clear those all off. If you leave those lying around, that's just a sign of bad mental health. I'm telling you, you can't leave them there. It's just too messy. <laughs> it drives some people crazy. Hey, I understand some people don't mind, but for me, oh, it just drives me nuts when there's a whole bunch of random things just sitting over there. Oh, get rid of that. Research complete. We have managed to get our hands on, what is it, ration box. Perfect. And a few other bits and bobs. That means we are going to dig right in here. Uh, yep, that's all got to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I almost dug out the, uh, mm, the oxalite. That would have been a bad idea. There we go. That looks far more normal. We're going to dig this out. We're going to start putting in planter pots and immediately start on mealwood. Reason being, calories on this go down rapidly. We're, every single dupe is eating twice as much calories as before, so we have six ca six dupes worth of calories, which means we are yeah, 6,000 calories per cycle. We do not have enough calories to last for very long. Uh, oh, and put in a ladder segment there and put in a brick right there. We're also going to dig in here to really, uh, get that oxide out and maybe get our hands on some more of these food and seeds that are going on around there. Oh, time to start planting instantly. We have one mealwood seed. Yes, that is, uh, that is wonderful. What else have we got in here? We have, yeah, one mealwood seed. That is all we have. How do we have that? We should have at least some blossom seeds. But the, uh, yeah, the joy of this map, there is so few seeds, so few everything, it gets really inconvenient really quickly. To help speed along the farming, I have changed the priority system here so that Chidi, our researcher, will do operating and farming, then researching. This should hopefully allow us to get all the farming done and oh, hopefully get some food preparation going on along. We really desperately need seeds now. We desperately, desperately need them. Otherwise, we're going to run out of food way too quickly, even with all the muckers we're getting our ha hands on. Lots of, thing happen lots of things happening all at once. It is the end of cycle three. Our research is complete, so we've now got our hands on the mess table, the electric grill, the egg cracker, and farm tiles. At the same time, we've also got a printing pod, so we get to choose a blueprint. What have we got? Let's hope we for something good. We have... Actually, two amazingly good, well, two decent good choices here. This one is a bad one. They've got flatulent, but we've got the small bladder and irritable bowel, both of which are actually not bad negatives. I've been advised small bladder does nothing. It's supposed to increase how quickly their bladder goes up, but due to a rounding error, it only increases it by like 2% a cycle as opposed to doubling the speed. So that's a... Both of these are fine. This one would be a great duplicate for just learning up in any skill. They'll learn up really fast because they got seven, plus 70% of their skill leveling. However, this one will require less morale to get into cuisine and we can immediately turn them into a dog's body. So a quick dog's body that can go straight into cooking, they get a, a quick learning, so they'll have a 30% bonus to their skill leveling anyway. They were early birds, so it's plus two to all their attributes during the first five morning hours. Of this. Yeah, was it the... Uh yeah, duration five schedule blocks. So in the morning, they get plus two to all of their attributes for five cycles or five chunks of time. That's really good. I think, yep, they're about to become our new dog's body, so their name shall be Janet. Yeah. Uh, not a girl. Also, not a robot. So, perfect. Uh, yep. We have one new colonist. Now, I will have to expand out here, but I can't really. Uh, I can't dig any hard rocks. <laughs> no one's leveled up high enough to get into hard digging. Janet, however, can immediately get into grilling if needs be, but I won't do that because until she gets a chance to sleep in some beds and use the toilets, she's only going to have... Um, or oh, Okay, we're, gonna, we're calling them Janet, whatever. They're only going to have uh, plus one morale just for the time being until we get them to go cycle through everything. So we'll just immediately set up their, uh, their priorities. We're going to make them our farmer and our cook. 
Uh, so we can get Chidi out of that and they can go back to specializing in operating, researching and building digging. I was almost tempted to get Janet and make sure that they also did the operating, but that could become problematic later on. I may change my mind on that, but we're going to see how it works out with them just doing the farming and the cooking. Yeah, and that means they'll also go around and start tidying the place up as well, which we kind of need. As for the germs here, you know what? Let's get rid of it. Let's turn off the germ problem, shall we? Yeah, let's just not disinfect anything anymore. I've never tried that on this difficulty level, but generally getting rid of germs doesn't really make much of a difference in this game, unfortunately. Next up, we have to do scheduling. Uh, we're going to have to start splitting them up into new schedules, so let's do a little bit of that now. First thing we've done is we've just uh, moved the schedules, just offset them slightly so that they can uh, use the bathrooms at different times. We've put Janet and Jason on the same schedule, of course. Uh, they will be going to bed a little bit earlier today, and Eleanor and Chidi are on their same schedule as well. They'll be going to bed a little bit earlier also, but... It just means we'll have this free schedule up here where when I do hire new duplicates and obviously forget to immediately assign them out a schedule, which I'm going to do at some point, they will have this blank schedule to work with. That's just a very handy little trick for saving yourself some time later on in the game. You know, uh, what was I doing in here? Ah, uh, yes. I'm diagonally trying to squish this water tank aside. If this had not broken open, this would be a far simpler process of just digging down. I mean, there's just muckroot right there that I'd love to go down and get, but I can't. You know what? We can go down and get that. But I'm just trying to wall this in with, unfortunately, sandstone. Uh, once we get our hands on better digging, we'll improve on that also. Oh, I need some more beds, don't I? There we go. A couple of beds to just sort that out. Uh, research. I should really continue on with that. I do want to get rid of carbon dioxide. We're going to need to get our hands on a carbon skimmer. Now, where did I put a carbon skimmer? Oh, wait. Carbon skimmer requires supercomputer. I'd forgotten. Oh, it's been so long since I've done a start in this game. Uh, yeah, to get the carbon skimmer, we're going to need to get our hands on supercomputers first. Uh, I'd like to free up some labor, though, so let's immediately get into coal and bigger batteries so we can cut down on labor requirements. Labor is going to be very important with this few duplicates to work with. Uh, and we can deconstruct that. That will allow us to finish off that last little tile there. Continue this sucker all the way down so we can get our hands on that muckroot I've been eyeballing for so long. Power regulation complete. Let's immediately grab some of those juicy jumbo batteries and we'll throw them in right there. And that should hopefully help cut down on the uh, the amount of charging that needs to be done. Done. Uh, perfect. I'm also going to extend this down here and start dumping some oxygen a little bit lower down. Reason being, I just want more oxygen down here so it takes uh, my dupes don't have to travel as far to get more oxygen. Also reduces their stress. Oof. It's weird having to keep an eye on stress. These difficulty levels definitely do change things just a pinch. Next up on the agenda with the research, we've got ourselves a coal generator. I'm probably going to just chuck one in down here. Let's check Ooh, temperature. We got a cold biome over here. Well, not a cold biome. The um, the rust biome is by default quite chill. That's quite handy for us. But uh, yeah, no, I want to get a coal generator over here and fill up a CO2 pit for food storage. This is going to become my kitchen area once I get rid of that water. Mm. The water removal I'll do later. Uh... Yeah, so coal generator. Coal generator needs to go in. We need to put in a bunch of battery banks. I'm thinking near this coal biome would be a good idea. The moment we get some skill points in it. Who's got... Yeah, no one's got enough skill points yet. Ah, joys of the game. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get the mess, tall, uh, mess table up and running now. And while that is going on, we're going to start some more research. We're going to get straight into advanced research so we can get ourselves the supercomputer. We are just about ready to move our food up to the new ration boxes. Now there's... One little thing here you need to be really careful of. This ration box is made of sedimentary rock. And normally on a map, that's whatever. No one cares. But on this map, it really, really, really matters. Because it's the only sedimentary rock you're going to have for a long, long time. And that sedimentary rock is very valuable because it allows you to turn regular hatches into stone hatches. Well, it allows you to up their chances. So if we get this hatch here, where is its diet? Uh, stone hatches. If you ink feed this hatch stone uh, sedimentary rock, it has a higher chance of producing stone hatches after it's had a few meals of it. This is the only sedimentary rock we've got and on this map at all. The only other way to get it is to grind up fossil. So we are going to immediately store that sedimentary rock for later use. And we're going to put that at an insanely high priority and we're going to immediately have it shoved down there before that hatch might accidentally eat into it. That hatch there, we, we don't want it messing around with those things. Go on, take up all that sedimentary rock, Jason. Good job. Or Janet? Where'd... Take it all. Damn it, it's lunchtime. Ugh, oh, buggery. Never mind, everyone else will take care of it. Perfect. All that sedimentary rock stored up for later use. Uh, up here, we're dumping all the muckers and all that up here, and then we're going to get in power. That was it. We want to stick in a coal generator right there. Oh, that fits in just perfectly. And, oh, power wires. Yes, we're going to get a power wire from here. Oh, 
and extend that power wire all the way over to the coal generator. <laughs> we're going to be dumping all of the CO2 into that. Uh, you know what? We'll get rid of that. We're going to hopefully fill that whole area up with CO2 so we can store our food in a nice, safe environment. Uh, Mealwood wise, we don't have a lot going on there, do we? Uh, how's our research looking? We've got water coolers, which we can't really use yet until we get flower pots, and we're about to get supercomputers. Once we get supercomputers, hmm, I think we're going to get lights so we can start growing bristle blossoms. We do have bristle blossoms here, but yeah, we need lights before we can start growing them. I suppose we could grow a few just around the pod. That might be an idea. You can grow one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we have five tiles here, and we could put in those five blossom seeds and immediately start growing them. More research complete. We've got our hands on the advanced research station. Always a useful one. Uh, I think we're going to grab some lights so we can immediately start getting some bristle blossoms going. Reason being, our food is just so catastrophically low. Judging from the last video, it's not going to get any better unless we take advantage of every single piece of food technology available on this map. And bear in mind, the last time I played this, I was not playing on the harder difficulty settings. Uh, so we'll plug that in there. Oh, and we're also going to need this to put in some battery banks, are we? So yeah, let's uh, put something across here. That sure there should give us some additional power storage. I'd prefer if I had five batteries for this one coal generator, but mm, we're kind of limited on space, at least until we can get some more skill points going on. Oh, last just everyone has skill points, I should have noticed. Uh, so Eleanor is immediately going into hard digging. Jason, immediately into hard digging. Chidi, uh, you are immediately going to go into advanced research, so you can use the advanced research station. And Janet, should we put you into grilling? I think we're going to have to put you into grilling because we may have to use... Oh, this is a tough choice. If you don't put her into grilling, we won't be able to fry up mush bars, which may become our emergency food source. I would like to put her to improve carrying... Mm, no, no. We will actually leave that point unassigned until we need it. We're going to be careful. Yeah, let's uh, skip this forward a bit till we get some more of this construction completed. Well, we've got most of our bristle blossoms planted. We've got five of them now up and running, which is nice. Uh, oh. Uh, make sure we're going to copy that setting over there. We don't have... We have less mealwood seeds than we had bristle blossom seeds. I'd forgotten how annoying this map was. Oh, it's so irritating. I consider we've dug, it, dug out quite a substantial amount of it. There's just not a lot of seeds going on on this map. Anyway, uh, we have a new printing pod. Let's see what we've got going on here. This just... Oh, perfect. Animal husbandry. Plus seven. This is... Yeah... This is perfect. Fungal spore, not really so good. I don't think there's any, there's no slime on this map. And since there's no slime, you can't use mushrooms. There's no gold amalgam. Yeah, but uh, I think Michael here is going to make a wonderful rancher. Michael, welcome to the good place. Don't panic, everything will be fine. Oh, did I change the priorities for them? Yeah, that would probably be the first thing to do. Michael here will have their ranching boosted up, but... Barring that, they're going to go around and help out doing everything that's not building and digging. Building and digging is effectively Jason and Eleanor's only concerns. That's all they do. Everything else in the base will be taken care of by everyone else, at least for a while. We won't be having anyone else helping out with the building and digging, just because there's so much else that's going to need to get done. Uh, oh, scheduling. Yes. Uh, yeah, Michael, you're going to need your own schedule, I think. We've taken Michael and immediately put them into the third schedule. I've also queued up a fourth and a fifth just so that we have everything ready to go when the next dupes come online. Do we have the food to support? I don't think we have the food to support this. I shouldn't be doing this, but a plus seven ranching, you cannot turn that down. That is going to be so useful once we start getting into the ranching. Uh, for the time being, yeah, time to grow lots of food and keep up with the research. How is their research looking right now? Oh yeah, we're going to get a light bulb so we can expand our bristle blossom farm if needs be. Then after that, well, you know what? I'll worry about that when we come to it, which should hopefully be quite shortly. Research complete. Uh, we've got our ceiling lamps. Uh, next up is flower pots. I want flower pots right now. Flower pots will allow us to get our great hole up and running, which is a nice big morale boost, and it's just nice to get that thing sorted. Uh, in the meantime, get that coal generator up and running. What's taking so long? Coal generator is up and running. Let's immediately crank that up to a level six priority and make sure it's... Oh, why is no one going to refuel that? Seriously, no one wants to refuel that? Not even a little bit? Come on, guys. Oh, yep, I figured it out. Uh, we need to turn off the manual generator. We'll just uh, crank that down to zero and we'll disable the building. We may need it later. There we go. It... That way the coal generator is not going to ask for any more coal on, or any coal until those batteries hit 5%. I've queued up a bit of digging down here. I'm going to say a bit of digging, I mean a lot of digging. I noticed there was a couple of idle dupes and we cannot be having that. 
Uh, research. Oh, research is complete. Let's immediately grab some more. Uh, I wanted those flower pots. Yes, so we could make the great hall. After that, hmm, decisions, decisions. I would like it to get into carbon skimming just to get rid of that nasty carbon dioxide cloud at the bottom of the base. However, that does require water, which means you're going to need plumbing in the first place. Let's, let's maybe get on with the toilets. I think it's time we got toilets and sinks sorted permanently as opposed to these temporary facilities we have up and running at the moment. I think we're going to make a nice big water tank down here and we're going to dump all our water into that. Uh, we have one, two, we have lots of water. There is so much water on this map. Oh, wait, that's ethanol. I think, yeah, I think once we get all of those centralized, we should have a good bit of water, which is good because there's not a lot of water on this map. Oh, I've got insufficient oxygen generation going on. We have two. Oh, that diffuser's over pressurized because of the carbon dioxide. You know what? Once we start digging out down here, that will... Uh, that will depressurize and we should hopefully be able to keep expanding. Oh, wow. We're going to have a lot of space up here, aren't we? All right. We've just got the hanging pot and the water cooler installed in there. That should give us a great haul. Plus six morale bonus. That should help with any stress. Everyone should be over moraled. Um, yeah, when people have more morale than they need, say, Michael here, let's look at their stress. Uh, high morale, minus 20% to cycle. This just helps counteract the frankly depressing of the highest difficulty, which means any pleasant chit-chat or anything else they get a cycle should help keep them going. Uh, sanitation. All oh, right, we actually have that all completed now, do we? Jeez, okay, that's really fast. Um, next up, yes, I wanted to get the carbon skimmer, didn't I? But we're going to need some brute refinement, and I think we're going to get some fire poles, just so we can speed up everyone's movement. Oh, and food. Food is very, very, very low. Uh, I think we're going to have to start making mush bars. We may have no choice. Uh, the reason being, it's just, there's not enough food on this map. Even with, we planted the mealwood pretty much instantly. Okay, we were a little late on the bristle blossoms, but there's just not a lot of food on this map. And there's not a lot of seeds to get started, though I do need to start, you know what, I need to start digging out over here as well. There is some muckroot over there that we could totally get our hands on. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to go around and start uh, digging out all those little crunchy bits right there. What do you call them? Oh, whatever, the bits with the cracks in them. Because of the sorry state of our food, I'm going to have to start cranking out mush bars, which means we're going to build ourselves a micro, ri microbe musher up here. Uh, we're going to rip out that coal generator and replace it with a grill. Uh, at the same time, how's that looking? Yeah, that's starting to fill up with carbon dioxide slowly. Once that's still filled up, we're going to put a, our backup coal generator down here instead, or our coal generator down here, add an extra jumbo battery. All of that has been prioritized to level six, so those should hopefully get finished quickly. Once they're all done, we're going to have to start cranking out mush bars. Um, Unfortunate, but it's the only way we're going to get enough food to survive. I just remembered how nasty this map was and why I disliked it so much. We are officially out of galleries. Well, sort of to be expected. We're going to be going for the emergency mush bars. Uh, immediately, we're going to stick them into grilling. Though to grill them, we're going to need someone with the grilling skill. Janet? Yes, I'm glad I held off on that just till now because we need it. Uh, Michael here is going to be our rancher, so I think we're immediately going to put them into farming and we're going to get them to take over the farming for now. Just until we get, uh, you know, until we get it around to the ranching later on, we'll have him handle the farming. So he'll take care of that first, and then he'll worry about everything else. That means we can take Janet out of farming, and she can concentrate entirely on doing nothing but cooking, which is going to be the micro musher and the electric grill, which I'm going to want completed sooner. Hurry up, people. Sorry, hurry up, duplicates. Our first mush bar has been completed, which means we need to start going into consumables and making some changes. No one gets to eat mush bars, just no one... Mush bars, the moment they drop out of here, where is it? Mush bar, they have... Yep, 1,000 food poisoning germs in them. Don't want to touch them. We're going to dump them straight into the grill and immediately set mush fry forever. Perfect. Uh, at the same time, you know what? I think we are going to have to make a uh, mm, lice loaf just for the calorie content. Uh, we may have to. It's going to cost us water, but at least it will expand the amount of calories we get out of each piece of lice loaf. It's just we have so little calories to work with. We need... A thousand calories for each one of them. Oh no, two thousand calories per cycle. So it's ten thousand calories. I'm not even sure I can produce them that quickly. I may have boned myself already, and it's only the very start of this round. The start of this playthrough. Oh, another thing I learned on my last playthrough on this: uh, remove mush bars from here. We don't care if the mush bars get left on the ground. As far as I'm aware, they don't can't even go off. We want the mush bars immediately sent over to the electric grill. Otherwise, there's just a, a bunch of uh, wasted duplicate actions where they take the mush bars, dump them in here before they get stuck into the grill. Waste of time. Anyway, how's everyone else doing? Oh, and what are we missing now? Insufficient oxygen generation. How? Oxygen's fine, is it? Ooh, I might want to increase some of the oxygen production up top of the map. Yeah, we've got the power to do it, so why not? 
Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that for a while, I think. Well, let's see what the gate has for us. Uh, yeah, we're not taking on a duplicate right now. I don't think we can afford it. We've got sand, some nymph eggs, and well, let me just check. Eh, nothing we're really too interested in. We could crack the shine nymph eggs, but eh, let's just take the sand. I'm curious to see if we can survive this without having to resort to getting food out of the gate. Research complete. We've got our hands on the fire pole and temp shift plates. Perfect. Uh, the fire pole will be very useful for us. Next up, yeah, we want to get our hands on that carbon skimmer. I'm sick of my dupes running up and down the map. Right, once we get carbon skimmer in place, we might start getting into more on... I want to get hydroponic tiles. Just uh, the, I'm trying to rush the carbon skimmer because we have, we're have very limited on labor. We can't hire more dupes, and I really do want to cut down on the amount of carbon dioxide that's going to end up here at the bottom of the base. Uh, we may have to put in some priority commands to increase this digging, though. It's definitely getting a little bit low oxygen down here, and it's a long time for my dupes to get down and up the map. Well, hopefully the fire poles will help out with all of that. I would like to point out, we are definitely not producing enough calories from mush bars every cycle. These are very slow to make. The, the micro mushroom, I really hate that, you, that piece of equipment. And we're not being able to grill them up fast enough that we can produce enough calories. But it is help mitigating our calorie problems. We're just, we need to keep digging and expanding and getting more muckery just to keep supporting five dupes. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, the Badlands is, is definitely living up to with the memories I have of it. It is definitely the worst of all the maps I've played so far. It's just you're so few seeds, so few everything to start off with. It really hurts you on the food front. And if I recall, algae runs out really quickly on this map as well. Let's check how we're doing on organics for the time being. No, we got 11 tons of algae. We didn't roll short on this map. Ah, good. Yeah, we've got plenty more algae to go. This might not be the worst. Anyway, we'll expand down here. We'll put in our water tank. We'll uh, we'll do some other things on the side. But for the time being, I'm going to have to cut this out here. I'm just I'm just back from my holidays. I haven't got back into the swing of things, unfortunately. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this trip down Badlands, and uh, good luck.